Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Now, get undressed. A direction which star of X-Ray, legendary Playboy playmate Barbie Benton, was presumably pretty used to hearing. A hospital is a great place to set a horror movie, because it's a place to which most people fear to some degree anyway, where you put your trust in others and just hope that they are professionals. What? What is it? Don't you worry, baby. Unfortunately, this is a canon film. Please subscribe to see our other canon reviews. And, in a way, that's all you need to know. What is going on here? Valentine's Day goes badly for young Harold. From Harold? <laughs> who can only watch as Susan celebrates with her boyfriend. I'm gonna go get some cake. We keep the cake machete in easy reach of the children. But when Susan returns... <laughs> 19 years later, Susan goes into her local hospital to get the results of a checkup, leaving her boyfriend, Jack, waiting outside. Isn't this the hospital where they had all that trouble last year? Trouble? Please foreshadow further. Some patient ran amok or something. Well, I don't know about that, but this is certainly the hospital of the unnecessarily creepy. There's the doctors, the patients, the orderlies, Doctor, other doctors, to emergency immediately. Doctor, other patients, young and lovely on the outside, maybe, the ghost that haunts the eighth floor, <laughs> and of course, the hospital drunk. Happy Valentine's Day. Any one a candidate for running amok, but fortunately, Susan is treated by David Bowie. But before Dr. Jacobs here can give Susan her test results, <laughs> she is killed and the results replaced. The body is discovered. It's Dr. Jacobs. Someone's killed her. She's inside, hanging in the cabinet. Prompting a second kill. <laughs> Meanwhile, Susan is trapped in a lift for five minutes. Help me! Somebody! Then is unable to find Dr. Jacobs. Dr. Jacobs? Neither of which she questions, choosing instead to sit in a corridor till nightfall. Boyfriend still waiting outside, before locating an alternative doctor named Harry. Didn't I see your name on a checkup result? Wildly creepy chat up line. He looks at her x rays. Ah, oh, you're all messed up. Then refers her to Dr. Saxon, who decides to re examine her. Um, do I really need to be naked for you to take my blood pressure? Winning the Halle Berry Swordfish Award for flimsily justified nudity. I suggest you reevaluate the way you look. Just a thought. But again, the killer intercepts the test results via murder. <laughs> Again, the body is discovered, forcing that bonus kill. Which is not surprising when you see the level of effort he puts into hiding the bodies. The false test result concerns Dr. Saxon. You can tell me the truth. Is it serious? Yeah, it might be. Well, good night. If you've got any questions, I don't know what you can do about it. But now, Harry locates Dr. Jacob's original test results. Well, what about that? Perfect timing as Jack has woken up and comes looking for Susan, but... <laughs> OK, I'm not going to sweat the plot here because you know what's going to happen. More deaths. And, spoilers, Harry turns out to be young Harold. 
Doesn't that raise some questions? Like, why does he refer Susan to Dr. Saxon? Why is he in disguise in the hospital where he works? After killing the lab tech, he replaces Susan's test results, then runs out. Seconds later. Okay, Susie. That's Harry. Who's he putting on the act for? But above all those questions, what is going on in this hospital? Somebody help me! Ah! Ah! This isn't a team effort, it's just Harry, which means everything else is just normal hospital business. Like when Susan and Jack try to leave. Going somewhere? Not the bad guy, just a doctor. And sure, some doctors can be dicks, but by the time they strap Susan to a trolley... If there's any more of this, I'm gonna have to operate. I'm trying to tell you something! Still unsure if anything is actually wrong with her, there have been six deaths, five of them hospital staff, and no one has noticed? Doesn't make sense. This is typical canon. They look at other films, see what's popular, what looks cool then shove it all in with no regard for sense, story or plausibility so that even a doctor dismissing his nurses sounds hilarious. Dora, Kitty, you may go. Yes, Dr. Yes, Saxon. And you get sequences like Susan hiding from the killer. Well, he can still see your legs, but I guess there's nowhere else to hide. Oh, now you've done it. Here he comes. What the hell? If I can just get this lighter back, he won't know I'm here. You're on eye level. Well, thank God, because since he didn't step on a lighter, he definitely won't look around the screen, which is the only place anyone could hide. And he doesn't. And again, this is canon. We need a tense moment, never mind that it doesn't make sense or that we repeat it two minutes later. I could go on. How long was he back there? None of it adds up. Isn't this the hospital where they had all that trouble last year? Turned out to be foreshadowing nothing but the fact that this hospital should be closed. Would you just shut up? And think about that opening so clearly inspired by Halloween. Except that killer child Michael Myers was, very believably, put into an institution, while killer child Harold became a doctor. This is unbearable. I just can't take anymore. By the end of the film, nine people are dead, including Susan's boyfriend and five doctors. The following morning... Mommy! Just another day at the hospital. Cannon. OK, get dressed. Let's go. Oh, you know where my clothes are. I'll just go as I am. You have to sign out or something? Thanks for watching. To see more Cannon reviews, click here. What are your favourite hospital horrors, good or bad? Let us know in the comments below. You better get out of here, kiddo. You're going to get yourself the louse.